just dropped. It's Linus Tech Tips. And I just told Linus. you about this. Yes, you watch a lot of Linus, right? I do. I've been watching since NCIX days. So I guess it's been a, like, a long time. Like when he was one at NCIX, still doing videos there. When he was at his the creator house that he had mm-hmm. with Luke. And they were making oh wow making you watch, videos watch, yeah, yeah I watched videos yeah, watch a, lot a long time ago <laughs> oh like my when God. they had the house and they made like whole whole room water cooling anyways what the, what the heck yeah no I, I'm like kind of a fan you'd say oh my god okay some may say so this is probably coming as a shock to you so hit me with it Linus Tech Tips two hours ago from recording this podcast is stepping down uh he just released a video saying that he is stepping down Mm -hmm. um from linus tech tips ceo so what are your initial thoughts about that i think based on like his talks on like the wan show and stuff which is his uh podcast with luke uh every friday check it out if you like uh tech and stuff like that it's shameless plug but um so (laughs) I think he if it, it fits because he definitely is more of a content creator. He he like said it himself is that he doesn't exactly see himself in that position. He would rather be making the videos like actually you know um, participating. Even though like a lot of it still revolves around Linus, mm-hmm. a lot of the videos don't exactly need Linus to be around, which is I guess by design. That's crazy. Uh, you know, I just to be fully transparent, I don't watch a lot of Linus. Um, I've seen. Fair couple, enough. I've I mean, he's the biggest tech. Well, I mean, d- no, d- debatable because it's like Mar- they're Marquez, Marquez yeah, and Unbox Marquez. there. Well, yeah, yeah Unbox yeah. Therapy and Austin Evans, and etc. Yeah. I watch Marquez, by the way, for a couple of his videos. Um, mm. But besides the point, he um, he's like the Dyson of uh, tech. Oh my god, <laughs> tech tubers. Oh my god. I yeah yes. Um, so <laughs> right. okay so. Uh, yeah, so he is stepping down on July 1st. Really? Wow. Um, uh, in the video, he explained mm. that he's not retiring um, mm-hmm. from the company as a whole. Um, apparently, he is going to a different position. Starting on July 1st, the new position will be chief vision officer, helping with um, creative direction while still appearing on camera as much as fans have grown to expect. I think he's probably going to be on camera a lot more. I don't think he's going to be on camera a lot more. I think what's going to happen is that they're going to have a more business-minded CEO so they handle the business side of it. Like, Because there's a lot of business that happens at a like a corporation as, as his, like, small, like his small at the time tech channel grew into an actual corporation. So I think like it is a good thing because it'll still keep the soul of Linus tech tips Mm. there because he's, he's the chief vision. He's directing the company. So the CEO is going to be handling a lot of the business side of the house. So like, I think that works out granted. A lot of the times you hire a CEO for their vision and that's like the, why they, kind of like demand the big bucks is like their vision is so powerful that they drive the company but his position is is there to keep that in check i guess to like make sure that the ceo's vision of where the company or the the media group is going to go aligns with his vision because i think there there was no was there any like talk about losing any share of the company because if not, they still own like the majority share of Lion Sectors, if not the entirety of it. I think I, I'm not entirely sure, to be honest, on all of this. This is just breaking. So. This is uh, speculative. Yeah. Well, no, he he put a video. I don't know how oh, everything I mean, else. He, I don't know how everything else is gonna work. Like you know, well, behind I mean, the, the, the scenes. The behind the scenes stuff is speculative. Though. Yeah, yeah. This yes. Behind the scenes is speculative. Um, but um, I just thought it was crazy because I know he's like one of the biggest creators on YouTube. Um. Yeah. Yeah, so this is this itself. Um, at least, at least viewing it um, mm-hmm. from this perspective, I was like, oh, okay. If he's gonna be like this, like what you said, he's he's the he's gonna be the visionary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of the channel, um, and I think yeah, he's how it's always been though. Yeah, it should be it should be interesting. I wonder. Um, I wonder if we'll be seeing more videos. Thinking about it, or you, no? I no. Okay, the, okay. I, I am you, not a Linus Tech Tip watcher, so you explain. Okay, to, well, you educate me on what for that means. the audience who may or may not be watching Linus Tech Tip videos like 
religiously at this point. Um, <laughs> the the way they have it is is very meticulous in terms of like their schedule is full. They have a team of editors and a team of like writers and a team of, I guess, artists or like uh, personalities that can also be on these videos. So in terms of that, like Linus is very tied up in like. I don't know if he's going to be removing this thing from him, but he is the ultimate approver of the scripts. So there's a writing oh, wow. team and then he will sit down with the writers and then like kind of talk over the notes and like kind of like give his edits on it, you know, this is and final cr- approval. That's crazy. It's a full yeah. production. It, yeah. Um, there are some really good videos about the behind the scenes stuff of and the business side of Linus Tech Tips, but like the whole thing is very... Not ex- not scripted, but it's a very big operation in terms of like it, with size comes complexity. Yeah. So he does a lot of he honestly I can see it that he is l- rescinding his CEO role so that he can focus more on the content side because if he has to deal with business related stuff in addition to checking over the content to make sure it like aligns or like it sounds right, checking over or like adding his own personality doing multiple videos like like where does he have time if anything like it makes sense to have someone else do that you know i you are the perfect person to explain all of this i was like i did Big not fan. <laughs> yeah, i did not know that and really? i was like yeah. yeah no that's crazy it's it's it kind of sounds like a mr beast production I, he specifically made it this way like because yeah, it, it it it's crazy. Like yeah, but it it, it seems like from his is it's definitely a grassroots movement. He started from like a small thing mm-hmm. at NCAX, like Lions Tech Tips, and then he grew it to what it is. I mean, like it's just constantly like improving, improving, improving. But and at that point, like you like oh, let's add another editor. Let's add. Well, now we have a team of editors. We need someone to manage the team of editors. Oh, we need crazy. we have a camera person, but we need more people to shoot multiple things at different times. So we need mo- someone to be in charge of those things. Well, we need multiple sets, so we need a building to house oh the sets. Oh my god! <laughs> and he recently uh, created labs, which is he he bought or he created like this thing where he's gonna do testing, like independent testing. What the heck? Is yeah. He- so there's a lot of like strings, like different different avenues for the business to go. Even though labs is not profitable, as he said in the podcast or his podcast uh there's just a lot of things for him to worry that, about and yeah. i think he he definitely should step back so he can focus on things that he wants to do yeah versus like things that he would rather have someone else do yeah that makes sense that that 100 percent makes sense yeah um yeah i think you're you're actually the yeah the perfect person to talk about this i think it's crazy that um that yeah, first off, I'm that you blown didn't away. Really? Yeah, I'm blown away. Uh, I did not realize. So this, this is a, a little on the inside. I'm a very big uh, YouTube yeah. fan. Uh, I mean, like I like the fact that I'm like doing YouTube is like pretty pretty cool. Just because like you know, like I'm doing something that I I personally really believe in. Like mm-hmm. you know, g- grassroots con- content creation and stuff. I I think that's like the coolest thing. Yeah, I think that's uh yeah, no, that's cool. That's that's very cool. And it's uh yeah. I just it's still just unbelievable that, that I didn't know that. That no, you didn't know that yet. No, about the line is Texas. The other thing I knew about, about Linus Tech no, no, I knew about uh I knew about you your grassroots, but I didn't know about yeah. the line is tech tips. Oh, I, I didn't yeah. know you were that much of a fan. But I mean, that it, I watched those? Yeah, I was like, holy uh, yeah. So okay. But uh yeah, mm-hmm. hot off the presses. Yes. Very, very, uh, very big news. Um, you'll be seeing this video as soon as we uh, were able to yeah. edit it and uh, send it out. So if you if you want, um, if you're a listener, make sure you check it out on U- uh, mm-hmm. YouTube. Um, yeah. So I think. So, yeah. I mean, this is a great story. I think like if you're a fan of Lions Tech Tips, like this if shouldn't be too much of a surprise if you think about it. Like in terms of like the 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 raw like article headline, it is very big. But if you think about what Linus represents and who he is, uh, at least what he shows himself at is during like the podcast where he's a bit more personal with his audience, mm-hmm. it definitely seems in line. So for those people who don't understand what's going on, I think like if you check out his videos and the videos on there, they're very polished, very like really nice. Like and if you check out other things, he definitely shows a lot of the business to others. Like so. 
yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, it's good. I'll have to check them out. I'll, I'll have to go back and check these videos that you made I me. Mean, you made his me production has over. like really skyrocketed in terms of like quality, but yeah. like in the variety of it too. That's crazy. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's that's good. That's uh, that's a good first story. Yeah. Uh, but we'll be moving on now.